This video will demonstrate the use of application modes that are available from within the PCB editor. An application mode provides an environment in which commands that you use frequently in a particular task domain, such as edge editing, are readily accessible based upon a selection set of design elements you have chosen. So there are a couple of ways to change application modes. You can go into setup application mode and these are all the application modes that are available to you. There are also icons that change application modes and you can select on the status bar under the field that's basically application modes. So I'm going to select there and let's go into the etch edit application mode. So the etch edit application mode is configured as shown on this slide and the idea is you move your mouse over the element that's identified in the left column and then you perform one of these four options to actually enable this command. So if I move my mouse over a symbol and I just pick and drag on it, I should run the move command. Let's see how that works. So again, I, I always want to check my find window and make sure it's set up correctly. Let's just do an all off and turn on symbols only. So I move my mouse over this symbol I pick and drag. You can see I'm in the move command and the bottom left hand corner says I am in the move command. Let's do an undo. Now if I move my mouse over a symbol and I do a shift drag I should perform the spin command. Again symbols is the only thing turned on. I move my mouse over there and I do a shift. Not to believe me I hit the shift button I pick. You can see now I'm doing the spin command as shown down the left hand corner also. Let's do one more. This is where they become very powerful. If you remember these slides, if I move my mouse over a pin and I do a double click, I should actually run the add connect command. Now, I can program up a single pick to be a double click by using a right mouse button, customize, enable single click execution. That's turned on. I actually have to do a single click, not a double click. So I'm in edge edit application mode. Let me turn off my symbols, turn on my pins. And simply by clicking on a pin, I am now in the add connect command, as can be seen by the bottom left-hand corner and the fact that I can disconnect these pins up. And now I'm back to idle. This concludes the demonstration on the use of application modes that are available from within the PCB editor.